Hi everyone, welcome back to- She's getting settled. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. My Instagram is at seattle 2 u and today I have a really exciting um, Goodwill Outlet Bins Haul Shoes edition. And this is my part three um, because I did one huge bins trip and I decided to just uh, divide it up in three parts. I will have a lot more bins hauls like coming up, but um, yeah, it won't be part of these three parts. Um, you will see my dog in the background. I can't promise she'll stay there the whole time, so she might be up and down. But yeah, I think I have, well, I don't know, you'll see in the title how many pairs I have. It's not too many, it is a whole Ikea bag, so it's more than like I usually get, but I just wanted to show you, what is she doing? <laughs> She's just licking my blanket, that's all. Um, anyways, so let's get started. The first pair, um, I'm really thankful my bins location, um, rubber band stuff, but sometimes it is still hard to find. Oh, I wanted to mention, um, I pay $1.79 per pound for clothing, shoes, accessories at my location. It is different. If you're unaware, a Goodwill outlet or bins is what sometimes people call it, are a, um, they're Goodwill locations, but they're pay by the pound. So you can actually get more bang for your buck than at a typical thrift store or a uh, regular Goodwill location. Not every state has one, but I would really consider Googling it if you're interested because you might be surprised that you have one in your area. So let's get started. Um, first, I found these Keen boots and the reason I picked them up, I have another pair of Keen um, boots in here too. Um, I will pick up Keen if they are leather and these are leather. They're size US 8 and they look like this i didn't i haven't leather conditioned or leather cleaned or whatever cleaned these shoes at all um and so just keeping that in mind but these are really cute so they look like this with the brown leather um these do pretty good and like i said they are a size eight and they have the zipper size they're actually pretty good condition I will leather condition the toe area because there are some scratches and it usually cleans up pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's the first pair. She's right there. It's really cute. <laughs> okay, second. These are actually, um, well, hold on. Okay, these are a new brand to me. I think they just make shoes, but they look like this. They're like a, what is this? called Oxford I don't know I could be totally wrong and you guys are probably screaming at your screen these um this brand is Fiorentini and Baker I don't know if you can see on the bottom and they are size 36 and a half which when I see European sizes on shoes or clothing or, or it says made in Italy like these also do I will look them up um <clears throat> it's usually a good sign Anyways, <laughs> I'm rambling, but these have really, really, really good comps, and this brand is really expensive. The top is distressed. I will need to add some leather cleaner, but other than that, that that'll be a common theme. I will need to add leather cleaner. And if you're wondering what I use, <clears throat> I use this Dr. Martin's um, Wonder Balsam, and it is just my favorite. I've had this for about a year, and it wasn't even full, but I I still have a good chunk left. And it's not super, super expensive. I think it was like 10 bucks and it lasts so long. Anyways, let's just, I'm going to show you what it looks like before. And I'm actually just going to give this a little, oh my God, it looks so much better already. And this isn't like a sponsor. I I haven't gotten sponsored before, so this isn't a sponsor or anything. I just love this stuff so much. Um, oh my god, it already... Look at that! I'm going to show you a before and after. 
That is insane. Anyways, and that was like three seconds. It already looks better. Uh, okay. Next are these. Um, so these are Franco Sarto, which isn't a brand I will always pick up, but these are so cute. Look at these. They're like a pointed toe, Ooh. like a loafer flat, but they have like a little heel. They're so cute. I think I've sold this style before and it does pretty well. I cannot remember if they're real leather. Yeah, leather upper. So that is really good. These are a size seven and a half. They're black. They're really cute. Okay. <clears throat> these are my favorite. I'm going to show these next. <clears throat> All right. So when I saw these, I will show you in a second, but when I saw these in the bins, I knew that I was going to grab them no matter if they were Forever 21 or Prada. I was going to grab them because they're so cute. Um, and look at these. They're like a metallic, like shiny. I keep wanting to say Oxford. I don't know if that's the style. Um, but oh, they're so cute. And these are Steve Madden. Which I actually do like picking up certain Steve Madden um, like styles. These This is in really good condition, which is a good reason to pick it up. I just thought the style was so, so, so cute. Um, these are leather upper and they're size 10. So women's 10. Um, if you're interested in anything that I'm showing you today, I can give you a really, really good deal if you DM me on Instagram. I will link it down below. Um, I will give you a shipped deal, like a no fees or anything. So like you'll get a better deal than if you bought it through um, any platform. But I mean, again, I will also link my Poshmark down below if you're interested in this stuff. I don't know when it'll be listed, but hopefully soon. Again, if you are interested in something and you want to comment down below, I can get a listed ASAP for you. <laughs> All right, these I thought were cute. Um, I pick up dance goes if they're in really good condition, like the nursing clogs, but they do tend to sit for me a little bit. They do sell for like 30 or $40, but these are dance goes, but they are a style I've never seen before. They're a booty and they're like a really cool gray color. So they are size 38 and they have like the side zipper here and I thought these were super cute these are leather and they're size 38 they do need a little bit of leather conditioning which I will just do now because of how quickly it goes by um I'll let that dry and then do it again so yeah okay the next thing that I found um there's more exciting ones in here I will show after but these are a pair of lucky brand booties I'm trying to zip it but it's not working so <laughs> these are just a suede booties lucky brand booties do so so well um I use these to hold my shoes like up when I'm photographing and ah forget how it goes but I feel like it's like I just got these so I'm like not totally sure how does it go I can't remember but anyways I just got these and I wanted to use these on them um but these lucky brand booties are really cute I think they're size I don't know nine and a half and they are suede leather um, Lucky Brand booties do so well. Um, they just sell really quick. Not for more than like $30, but um, for bins prices, they're definitely worth it. Okay, next, <laughs> this is so funny. So people at the bins will, will just, they'll never leave Birkenstocks. There will never be Birkenstocks left over. But I walked over to this bin that had been sitting there for a while so it was definitely like, picked over and I found these and at first glance I was like oh those are definitely Birkenstocks 
And then I looked inside and it says Batula. And then I was like, oh, well, it might be a dupe. But then it said Batula licensed by Birkenstock. So this is one of their offshoot brands, which they do have um, like a couple of. And um, this is a size 37. But anyways, I just think that somebody saw like the Tula and thought it was like a knockoff. So they left them. These are in really good condition. I don't know what this like offset brand is because these look like regular Birkenstocks. So I'm not sure. But anyways, I thought that was a good find. Okay. Next, these are my favorite. This is my favorite find. So I'm just going to show them. They do need some love. So I'm going to leather condition. But I found these Everlane booties and they look like this. So cute. Um, look at the toes though, right? But let's see what the leather conditioner could do. Um, I have sold um, Everlane shoes before, but I think I only have found them a couple times. So I don't think I've actually sold them that much. But Everlane shoes typically do really, really well. They're all always made in Italy, and they're almost always like leather, like a good, good um, quality. Also, I wanted to say something. So I the the Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam comes with this um, uh, sponge, but it is really worn down, and it actually has some black like leather stain on it. So I'm actually gonna throw this one away and I wanted to show that I get these. These are just makeup beauty blenders and I use these also. So I'm just gonna put a new one in there. Um, and the reason I use these, I just kind of thought of this one day. Um, you can get into like creases like right here with these because these are meant for your face like all the creases and you can kind of get the oil all in there into creases that you wouldn't be able to get with those so I just find this works really well um and you can kind of just go all over anyways that is just a little tip <laughs> so it all this one I just want to show you the difference um, this one I just leather conditioned and this one I haven't done anything to and you can tell it still has wear that just probably won't ever come off but it looks so much better anyways these are size 5 which is gonna be a tougher sell but um, you cannot pass up Everlane shoes at the bins so hey I'm just conditioning these and they are starting to look good all right next are these which i think are technically ugly but um these are really in so these are steve madden's and they're a chunky block heel sandal and how i would sell these is by in the keywords saying y2k or vintage because they are wooden block heel with like a that thing in the back. I don't know what that's called. But this block heel type sandal does really well now for Y2K style. And Steve Madden is a good brand. Um, so that's why I grabbed them. They're not technically my style. But I thought they were good for the resale. Oh yeah, these. Okay, these need some love which happens with most shoes I get from the bins. They're not gonna be, I mean, you will sometimes find shoes in really good condition, but it is rare because also they're being tossed around with other shoes before they get put on the Goodwill floor. So they're bound to have some sort of wear. All right, I'm just gonna <laughs> clean these up for you. I should have done this before I started recording. Now this video is already 14 minutes long, um, but, these are a pair of Eileen Fisher black leather booties. Um, I think, I forget what this heel type is called. It'll come to me after the video, I bet. But um, these are cute and I leather conditioned a little bit on this one and I still have to do this. 
Um, I like Fisher shoes. They do okay for me. They take a while to sell, I found. But they eventually do sell. And, you know, honestly, it's just at the bins. Like, I can't get myself to just leave them because I'm like... I can't leave Eileen Fisher shoes at the bins, like, for how cheap they are, um, that I would be, like, paying for them. The profit margin is just great for shoes and in general, but, like, even if I sit on these for a while, I don't have a lot into them. So, anyways, they look like this. Really cute. These are size, um, uh, five. <laughs> Maybe these and the Everlane boots are from the same person. Okay. Next are another pair of, did I pick up three pairs of Steve Madden shoes? Wow. These are Steve Madden. Um, they're like a wedge sneaker shoe, which I think is really in. They're like a suede upper and they need, um, some magic eraser on the um, sole, which I will do. But these are suede gray sneakers. Really, really cute. They're in otherwise really good condition. Steve Madden. And these are size. Does it not say? That is weird. They kind of look like a nine or maybe like an eight. They look like bigger. I don't know. But anyways okay we have a couple pairs left of shoes these are new to me i looked them up in the bins because they looked really nice this is what they look like they're sandals um at first i thought that the front like open area was a rip as you can see because it doesn't the stitching is there but it's coming up on both but that's actually intentional i looked up these sandals the brand is satentica avarca i don't know it's a different language um made in spain so it's probably spanish <laughs> pons p-o-n-s is like the actual brand and they're leather upper and i think the comps were good so the new brand to me they work really cute all right, the, these are another pair of Batula by licensed by Birkenstock. So I found two of them. These ones are like a white leather. The soles need to be cleaned. Um, I actually do have another video about how to clean Birkenstock soles. And if you're curious, you can go check that out. And I will be using the same method on these. All right, I have one more pair, so let's get into that. All right. These are a pair of Keen hiking boots. So these are really hefty, they're really nice. They are a size nine and a half. I think they're men's though. So it'd be like a women's like 11 or 10 and a half. They're leather hiking boot and they are honestly in really good condition. Like they're probably only worn like a handful of times and yeah they're like a hiking boot I think I could get like 45 for these maybe more I'd have to look up comps but yeah so that is my um shoe haul from the Goodwill bins this is just one trip so it's not cumulative I will be going back this week and hopefully getting more shoes but definitely getting more clothing um I did just recently move my inventory from down the road up to my garage. And if you want to see an inventory kind of like video about how I store stuff, it's not super crazy or anything, but if you're interested in that, let me know down below. If you have any other video suggestions or if you really just like the bins hauls, I'd actually like to know that too. Um, just so I'm not posting stuff that people don't care about. Yeah, I just wanted to thank my new subscribers and welcome if you're new and thank you for returning if you're a returning subscriber. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.